In a disturbing and graphic video obtained by ABC News, a police officer shoots an unarmed man repeatedly as the man tries to flee. Now that officer has been charged with murder, ABC Steve Osinsami is on the ground in South Carolina where that video will almost certainly be a key piece of evidence in this case. This chilling video obtained by ABC News. <laughs> Police officer Michael Slager fires eight times at 50-year-old Walter Scott as he runs away and this father of four dies in the dirt. It happened Saturday morning, 9.30 a.m. at this intersection here in North Charleston, South Carolina. It was a routine traffic stop. Officer Slager pulled Scott over for a broken taillight. According to the police report, Scott ran away and the officer chased him up the street behind a pawn shop and into this empty lot. Black male, green shirt, move in. All units, north and emergency status, chasing on foot. This abandoned lot becomes a killing field and it's all recorded on a cell phone by an eyewitness no one sees. First, Officer Slager appears to reach out towards Scott. Then Scott breaks free, running away with what appears to be a line attached from the officer's stun gun. That's when Slager fires his gun eight times at Scott's back as he's trying to get away, and he falls to the ground. Officer Slager walks over to him. He cuffs the dying man, and then he and another officer come to look Scott over. Authorities believe five of the eight shots fired hit Scott and that two of those bullets killed him. He needs to know that that wasn't an animal that he killed. He was my son. His family is beyond hurt. I lost it. I absolutely lost it because I knew that it, it just started from a traffic stop. And I'm, I'm like, how can you go from a traffic stop to someone being dead. There were bench warrants out for Scott's arrest because of unpaid child support. <laughs> but Scott's family says that's no reason for what they see as an execution. I never had a problem with him doing anything, stealing from us or bringing the wrong people home. Over police radio and in the incident report, Slager says he fired in self-defense, that Scott had taken his taser, causing him to worry for his safety. Shots fired. Subject get down. You grab my taser. But in the video, it's not clear who has control of the stun gun. We can only see that the stun gun cord is between the two men. It does appear from the video that Slager walks back and appears to drop something next to Scott but it's not clear what. We were in city offices while local police were seeing the video for the first time. I can tell you that as the result of that video and the bad decision made by our officer, uh, he will be charged with murder. Tonight, Officer Slager is behind bars and he has been denied bail. What's happening tonight in South Carolina is so different than the shooting death of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri, that sparked anger and protests across the country, and not just in the details of the case. This is nothing like the Ferguson case. In Ferguson, the more you dig into the case, the more you read the report, the more the police officer's account is supported. Here, you see this video, and it tells the story. And it's a story that seems almost indefensible from the police officer's perspective. In a world where there's a camera in every pocket, I asked about the importance of the video at a news conference just hours ago. If it weren't for this video, would he be charged with murder at this point? That's you know, a question. Let, let me answer that with Form Chief. You're asking us to speculate. The, the video is very demonstrative of exactly what happened. Without the video, it would be difficult to ascertain exactly what did occur. They say in this case, an officer violated protocol. Police officers can use lethal force, uh, discharge their firearm, uh, when they believe that their uh, life and safety is in jeopardy or the life and safety of uh, individuals in the vicinity uh, is in jeopardy as well. It's very difficult to make a legitimate case for the use of lethal force 
when the suspect is running away in the manner depicted in the video. The police chief, almost in tears, clearly overcome with emotion as he condemned the officer's actions, saying this one policeman doesn't represent them all. You've been around me a long time. And you, you know, I think that all of these police officers on this force, uh, men and women, are my are like my children. So you tell me how a father would react to seeing this child act, uh, do something. I'll let you answer that yourself. But the police department's reaction was definitive. If convicted of murder, Slager could face the death penalty or a term of 30 years to life in prison. This is not going to be an easy defense. This video is devastating evidence against this police officer. I just know that there's two families that are in bad way right now. Our prayers and thoughts go with both of the families. Tonight, Scott's family taking some comfort in the authorities' quick action. All we wanted was the truth. And mm. I think through the process, mm. we've received the truth. And we can't get my brother back, and my family is in deep mourning for that. But through the process, justice has been served. And I don't, I don't think that all police officers are bad cops. We were with Scott's family and his three children tonight after they heard the news. We have a little bit more of a process to do because I can't... Uh, Charge is not being convicted. Once a conviction is put in place, I'll feel a whole lot better. The family is considering filing a civil suit. And I'll miss my son. <laughs> I just pray it doesn't happen to anybody else. For Nightline, I'm Steve Osinsami in North Charleston, South Carolina.